Hello YouTubers and welcome to a blind tasting. <laughs> we haven't done one of these in a while. I think the last time I did one was with Dad back in 2014. Or maybe actually Christmas 2013, but aired in January 2014 mm. or something. But this is not like a real blind tasting, because real blind tasting you don't know what you're drinking and you have to guess what it is. Here we know two of the beers. So one of the beers, well the title will say all the, all the beers, but one of the beers is the Captain's Daughter by Grail, Graysale Brewing that we reviewed a while back. Then a can of Hetty Topper, and thanks a bunch to Nick from What Cheers for sending those out. And then one of them is a fairly fresh EU double IPA as well. Uh, and we have no clue which one's which. We have tinfoil on the glassware as well, so we can't really decipher what is which either. So this should make for an interesting video, because we talked about how different these type of Vermont or New England style IPAs were. Yeah. And I have never had Hitty Topper. No, so you're going to have Hitty Topper in a blind tasting. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can... So, should we just start out with beer number one? Yep. Check out your own on it. That's very juicy. Very juicy and tropical. That smells really good. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I believe all the beers are fairly fresh, so they should be very juicy and fresh. Mine. Super, but yeah. Juicy. Like citra hops almost. Citra, citrus yeah. fruits, yeah. So, this is really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely like citra, it's kind of tropical, tangerine, mangoes, yeah, pineapple. But it actually also makes it harder to pick things up and stuff when you don't see the <laughs> color of the beer and stuff. Don't you agree? Yeah. Let's taste it. Cheers. Cheers. That's quite bitter. Mm -hmm. And citra-like. I'm not mm -hmm. sure if it's made with citra hops. What flavors are you picking up with this one? Quite straightforward, dry, and like dry and, bitter. Yeah. Um, and a little very bit very juicy. I think. I don't think it add, it's as juicy as the aroma indicated, though. Yeah. Yeah. And again, we have no idea which one it is. So. No, no. Uh, but yeah, it's. I could drink this. Sure. Oh yeah. It's, it tastes. It's tasting really nice. It's kind of like juicy tropical fruit flavors. I'm thinking mainly citra hops, and then. Uh, like there is some underlying grapefruit, there's also a little yeah, bit of a piney. But I don't really get that uh, bubblegummy, uh, uh, no. woody thing. But that was so. mostly also treehouse, and none of these are treehouse beers. Let's, uh, let's, move, let's on. move on. Number two. Oh, that smells malty. That's rye-ish. Rye yeah, rye and much more earthy and resiny. Mm -hmm. This is more explosive with juicy fruits. I'm getting some citrus, uh, like fruity. It's grapefruit and citrus, but nowhere near as tropical. This smells more like an old school IPA with lots of bitter grapefruit and pine and rest. I and think the aroma has, has totally changed now. <laughs> That's because <laughs> <really funny>. <laughs> let's, let's give number two a taste. No. Cheers. Cheers. Much more old school. Bitter grapefruit. It's more, a little more juicy on the flavor though, I think. Mm, yeah. Resiny, got garlic, got one, yeah. Bitter, grapefruit, quite bitter, yeah. Piney. But more 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 malt sweetness to this one, actually. Yeah, definitely. I think. But let's move on. Yep. To number three. Ugh, oh, this is this smells like the freshest beer too. The first one, I think. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting great compared to the second one. Yeah. Grapefruit and sweet citrus mostly in this one. It's not as tropical as the others. It's hard to hold the glass like this. One. Seriously, I think the aroma on the first one has changed now. <laughs> because you're That's really weird. <laughs> We're not getting many notes right now, yes. huh? Much more citrus and more tropical. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. This smells like, tastes like the freshest of the bunch, number one, I think. It is actually one, yeah. like, that, that's got most sweet citrus and stuff. This all has nice sweet citrus flavors, and it has a little bit of tropical, and like, kind of, some dankness and stuff too, but, um, this is the most tropical. has some dankness now to it, like, now, I don't know. It hasn't changed, but it has changed in a weird way. Yeah, there is a little dankness to it. Man, this is confusing. <laughs> yeah, but it's fun. It's really fun to do. I'm still getting that kind of citra flavor. Whereas this is, to me, more old school IPA. And what it's worth, I think this is the European IPA. Yeah, second one, yeah. 
And I think number one is Captain's Daughter because it has so much citra, and I know there are citra hops in that one. And I'll say number three is Eddie Topper. Easy to say now, but I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> I'm getting pointed on the face. We probably have it all fucked up here. <laughs> I got it all right, and you did too. <laughs> Number one is Captain's Daughter. Okay. Number two is Amla Bokush Lubricated Labrador, double IPA. And number three is Hedy Topper. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So that was fun to do, wasn't it? Which one do you prefer? Captain's Daughter is my favorite. And then I'd I say... Actually, I had my hope higher for uh, Hedy Topper. I think it tastes good, but I'm not... I think I gave Hedy Topper 96 or 95 when I reviewed it back in the day. It was really nice. Uh, and it was also fresher, but it didn't yeah. blew my mind as much as I'd hoped, but, it, but I think it's because you also sometimes with the whole put it on a pedestal and stuff. Mm. I still think, well... Yeah, I prefer the first one too. Yeah, it's more juicy, but it can, it's also a fresher can. I mean, they're, they're about the same age, all of them, but I actually think these two are closest in age, whereas this is a little bit older. Mm. Yeah. I think you can taste that. Well, I have no idea to... I have nothing and they to also to, but... say, drink Hitty Topper out of the can too, on yeah. the can, so that's pretty why, but it's pretty fun to sit and taste them, like now, when you actually see them. It's got some tropical stuff and whatnot going on, and the sweet juicy fruit, and the heady topper, where, and then this has more grapefruit and more citrus kind of flavors, some of the tropical, but it's not as in your face tropical as this one, Yeah, the Captain's Daughter. But I've, I'm still, uh, one word short of, like, pinpointing ex the exact taste for me for this beer, for Captain's Daughter. This one's the, the difference is huge. Yeah. When you drink them side by side, this almost, well, it's not, it doesn't taste like a barley wine, but it almost has a slight barley wine malt flavor compared to the others. Yeah, but it is much more, but yeah, I think that rye. And then probably because of the hop usage and whatnot. Yeah, favorite, second favorite, third favorite. All still great beers, but these are definitely, or this is definitely superior in my mind. So, yeah, thanks for that, Nick. So, this kind of confirmed the whole idea that kind of some of the Vermont beers are a little bit different as well yeah. than the well, EU stuff. Ours, um, uh, Lubicator, uh, it's also different from some very of the different yeah, yeah. Uh, IPA. But, but it was also different from TAP, I think. Because it was actually, I think it was the one called Lubricated Ewok, and they changed the name yeah. for legal mm -hmm. reasons for the bottles. But I remember it being so much different on TAP. But yeah. Yeah. It's cool to do this. Yeah. It would be so cool to see breweries like this or Triage or Trillium or something at CBC and then try and walk between some of the European stands and their stand yeah. and compare. That'd be cool. So, yeah, guys, that does for this wine tasting. This was fun to do. Hopefully, it didn't get too long. And uh, yeah, hopefully, we'll be shooting more of these and not just doing them once every two years. <laughs> hopefully. So, uh, yeah, without further ado. Um, Cheers, Cheers. Like, comment, subscribe, share with Facebook, fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. We don't really have the same outro for this. Thanks a bunch to, to Nick for providing these beers and having Mesh nice try Heady Topper as well. And yeah, uh, yeah we're going to say cheers. And uh, see you guys in another beer review. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs>